hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about create html content action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop under the text category we have got create html content action With this action, we can generate HTML content and store it into a variable. This action can help us to send out a formatted email, right? Where we can have a table, we can change the color of the text, we can insert an image in the email, right? So in this HTML editor, we have an option to change the font style right here we have option to change the size of the font we can make it bold we can make it italic and we can have a text which will have underline correct for example if i have a text which is technical training and if i want to change the font style of it i can select it and then i can choose the font of my choice if i want to change the size of it i can select and change the size of it to make it bold i can click on bold make it italic and underline if i want to see the html code i can enable the text editor and here you can see that whatever the format we have applied on that text same has been converted into the html code so it has the font face is algerian size is 5 and when we have made that text as bold so it has used the strong tag to make it bold correct i will disable this text editor if you click on this drop down you will have an option to change the color of the text so if you want to change the color of the text you can choose the color of your choice before making the change in the color of the text you need to select the text and then you can click on this drop down and then choose the color of your choice correct if you want to change the background color of it you can come here and take the background color okay if you want to align this text you can select it and click on this drop down and make it to the middle or in the center you can take it to the right side of it and you can take it to the to the left if you want to draw a HTML table you can click on this insert table where you will have the options to define the title let's say html table here i can define that first row it is going to have three rows and three columns correct width is going to be 100 percent height is also going to be 100 percent so you can change these values as per your requirement and spacing you can define how much space you want you can specify the padding between the text and the border you can specify the alignment by choosing the left right or center so I'll choose the center and I'll give the border thickness of 5 I will click on ok and here you can see that we have got a table with the format that we have specified there here you can specify the header so let's say id second one is going to be let's say first name and you can specify the last name so this is going to be your column and if you want to set the value you can say 101 john right 
and if you want to see the HTML code of it, here is the HTML code. Correct. Similarly, if you want to insert a image, you can click on this and then you specify the path of the image. You can give the title. You can specify the link if you want to click on the link or if you want to click on the image so that it can navigate to the specified URL. Here you can specify the alternate text and width, horizontal space, height and vertical space and here also you can specify the alignment whether it has to be to the left or to the right or to the center border thickness also you can specify next option that we have is to provide a hyperlink for example here you want to give a hyperlink and for that you will have to click on this option you can specify the URL for example google.com and the text is going to be Google now you can see that we are having a URL here so this is the text and once you will click on this link it will navigate or take you to the google.com site right If you want to remove the formatting you can select it it will remove the format for example if you want to select all and then click on this drop down and then click on remove format you can see all the formatting have been removed if you want to apply a CSS on the HTML content you can use the style tag for example if you want to use the CSS code, you can use the style tag. Correct. So we have used the opening and closing style tag. And then if I want to specify a color to the P tag, so I will just use P curly bracket. And let's say I want to change the color of it to green I'll give color colon name of the color and then semicolon and if I disable it you will see that the P tag right it is having the color as green so this way you can also use the CSS code inside the create HTML content and once you are done with the formatting you can click on save and if you will run it you will see that it will have all the HTML tags right and you can use HTML content variable while sending out an email if you want to send out an email using Office 365 Outlook, then you can use send an email where you can specify the variable and your email will be formatted in the same way. So this is all about the create HTML content action in Power Automate Desktop. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel and if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.